Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network, and in this clip, I'd like to speak about success. I want to talk about success a little bit and why being successful is very important. Now, some people, when they talk about that or they hear that, they cringe a little like, ooh, success, is it okay to talk about it? Success is important. Why is it important? Why is the Rabbi Bregman is a nice Torah guy talking about it? I want to tell you. Being successful and having success is very important, but we have to define our terms. Number one, when I talk about success from the Jewish perspective, the Torah perspective, I am not just talking about money. Look, financially successful, finance, success, money, gel, shekel, kesef, all the different words, okay? That's one form of success, but when I say it's important to be successful, I don't just mean money, I don't just mean prestige, I don't mean career. What am I talking about? It's very important to have success, and by this I specifically mean to when you want to accomplish something, bring something about, you have a vision, there's something trying you want to make happen, that you ultimately be able to pull it off, if not every time in life, a lot. It's very important to be successful. It's very draining in life not to be successful. So there's financial success and professional success, but there's also relationship success and, and health success and success as a parent and in learning Torah. There's a lot of success out there and there, it's very important you figure out how to pull it off. It's draining in life not to be successful. And I'll give you examples, okay? Let's say a person's trying so hard to get married. I want to get married. I want to find my spouse. I want to build a family and everything else. And, and you haven't been able to close the deal. Nobody's been willing to marry you or something else. That's hard. That's painful. It's hard not to be successful, you know? You want to make it happen. I know people who went to law school, like I went to law school, and they graduated, they have $120,000 of debt, and they took the bar exam, and they couldn't pass the bar exam. And they took it one time, and two times, and three times, and after the fourth, they quit. And that's a shame. It's very important to be successful. Why? Because look at what you did. You spent all these years and all this money to get a degree, and you're still paying it off, and you haven't been able to get the career. That's sad. It's a shame. You know, you want to have that success. It hurts not to have success, to want something and not to pull it off. You got to be a closer in life. You have to be able to go out there and get done what you want to do. I'll give you another example. Many people want to lose weight. A person might have 40 pounds to lose, 50 pounds to lose, so they start a diet and they lose a couple pounds and gain it back, and a new diet and they gain it back. And this week it's no sugar, and the next week it's no carbs, and the next week it's all protein, and the next week no protein. And you know what happens? They give up after a while. Why are they giving up? You know why they're giving up? They're giving up because they haven't tasted success. When you taste success, meaning, You've been able to get what you want, it gives you energy, it makes you want to keep going. But it's a drain in life to not have success. It's a drain in life, it's emotionally draining, spiritually draining, it's disappointing to want to get out there, want to make something happen, and you can't do it. You're never able to create what you want to create and effectuate your dreams, you're always able to start. It hurts not to be successful. It's painful, it's disappointing, it's frustrating. So I would suggest to you, and this is something that the Jewish Executive Learning Network is very about, and this is something I'm very committed to, I'd even say obsessed with. I am, for myself and for other people, I love to help them get what they want. Certainly, if it's a good, worthwhile goal, it's very important to be successful. It's very important, and there's strategies and so much you could do in order to bring about what you want to have. So I think a person should not have any shame and be any embarrassed to say, I think being successful is important. And being successful is something you should study. It's something you should work on. People who are successful, you should analyze what do they do and what do they not do in order to pull it off and figure out what can I do to emulate so I can have that as well. And I would even tell you, there's nothing wrong with even asking Hashem, asking God, please, in my prayers, to be successful. One quick example, we say in the Hallel prayer, we say in the Hallel prayer, Ana Hashem Hatzlichana, Ana Hashem Hatzlichana. We ask Hashem, please, God, give us success, give us success. You know, when I point that out to people, like, oh, I, I never realized that. One of the most basic prayers in Judaism, the Hallel, we're asking Hashem to give us success. The biggest rabbi in the world, Rav Chaim Kanievsky, if you, if you go to him, many times the most common blessing he gives you is bracha batzlach, I wish you blessings and success. And I'm not saying that, that, that he's necessarily talking about all things I'm talking about, but success is important, and it's not a non-kosher word to talk about. And let's be clear, I'm not talking about money or money per se, I'm talking about all forms of success, and it's something we should strive for, and it's more attainable than we realize. We just have to get ourselves in gear, the right strategies, work ethic, and a lot of other stuff we're going to speak about. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's clip. This is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman, the Jewish Executive Learning Network, and I will see you the next time.